brand new collection just came in about 275 slabs that I paid just a hair over $13,000 for I am always buying collections collections like this usually about 60% of fair market value um, but if you have higher value books of course I can do much better than 60% including grails if you're you know looking to offload some grails or something you know shoot me a message and, and, and at least get a quote uh, you might be surprised at how much I can offer one thing's for sure, it's fast, it's fair, I get you, you know, I get you your quote super quick, I get the books shipped super quick, and I get you paid super quick. So, got this process down to a well-oiled machine, and there's a contact info down in the description. You could shoot an email to bricecomics at gmail.com if you want to get a free quote on your collection. Also, we do a monthly giveaway here on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like, you're entered to win a Moon Knight number 196 this month. And make sure you're signed up to that newsletter over at bricecomics.com. We have a very very special giveaway this month, a Darkhawk number one 9.8 signed and sketched by Mickey over at Swagglehaus Comics. There's only four of those. I'm keeping one, Swagglehaus is keeping one, and we're giving away two. So you can win the one just by being signed up to the newsletter at BriceComics.com. And you have to go subscribe to Swagglehaus and watch every single one of his videos because I'm not sure exactly how or when he's going to announce how he's doing his giveaway for his book. So you have two opportunities to get one of four really awesome version of Darkhawk number one let's flip this camera around and take a look at these books so this collection has a lot of really awesome something is killing the children books including uh, a bunch of first prints this is uh, first print cover a 9.6 first appearance of erica slaughter signed by james tynion we got the j lee variant cover in a 9.8 issue number six the unlock retailer jenny Ferson virgin edition number three the unlock retailer virgin edition Number three, cover A. Something's killing the children. Number one, this is the fifth print for the first appearance of Erica. Uh, another first print, uh, this is a CBCS 9.8. Black Panther, number three, the 1 in 25 uh, Tarin Clark variant cover for the first appearance of Tosin Oduye. A really awesome set here of uh, these original Patrick Gleason. Uh, store exclusives. So th these are the Virgin store exclusives that came from the Pat Gleason shop. So you have the first one here, Amazing Spider-Man 55 Virgin signed by Pat. The second print, which is the, uh, oh no, this is the third print, the Blue Virgin, also a Pat Gleason store exclusive. I don't think we have the red one. Maybe we do. Uh, there's also a red version of that. Edge of Spider-Verse 1, Scotty Young variant, signed and sketched by Scotty Young. Really freaking awesome uh, remark on that one. Batman 125, signed by Jim Lee. This is the Jim Lee variant cover for the first appearance of Failsafe. This is cool to see. The Twig Preview Ashcan Edition, signed and sketched by Scotty Young. Far Sector number 1, the variant cover for the first appearance of Sojourner. Something's Killing the Children, number one, fourth print in a 9.8. X-Men 4, 9.6, new stand edition, first appearance of Omega Red. Something's Killing the Children, 21, the 1 in 100, Gabriel Del Otto, virgin wraparound cover. Beautiful cover there. Werewolf by Night, number one, this is the Mike Plug hidden gem variant cover so this is the splash page from werewolf by night number one from the 70s that they use as a cover for a one in 100 incentive variant for the first appearance of jake gomez as the werewolf by night something's killing the children number 26 this is the zoe lachey signature series and it comes with this as the coa which is freaking awesome so something's killing the children 26 trinity comics exclusive dark series cover one of six limited to 500 copies and so that's the coa which is really cool it's signed and sketched by zoe and it says 11 out of 15 on it which is which is awesome so she only did 15 custom sketches like that X-Men 4 Custom Label 98 Direct Edition, first appearance of Omega Red. Vision, number one, the first appearance of Virginia, Vin, and Viv Vision. Black Panther 2, the first appearance of Shuri. Demon Days, Rising Storm, number one, Virgin. I believe this is a 1 in 500, if I'm not mistaken. 
Powers of X, uh, Stephanie Hans variant cover. Beautiful Stephanie Hans cover. This was really cool to see the uh, set here. There's three different versions of this cover by Art Germ, Stanley Art Germ Lau. The Legacy Edition here for the first cover appearance of Riri as Ironheart. Legacy Sketch Edition. And the like partial fade edition. So all three of them together there, that was really cool to see. Battlestar Galactica number one, 9.8 white. Captain America Sam Wilson number three, the first appearance of Joaquin Torres, who later becomes the new Falcon. Far Sector number one, second print for the first appearance of Sojourner. Thor six, second print, one in 50 uh, sketch cover. Captain America 275, first appearance of the second Baron Zemo in a 98 white. Batman Beyond Special Origin issue, no number from 1999. This is the first comic book appearance of Terry McGinnis. This is the promotional edition because it says free special origin issue right here. There's also a direct edition, which has a regular UPC and says direct edition. There's also a newsstand edition, and there's some other promotional editions as well. So there's lots of different versions of this book. Savage Avengers number one. This is the 1 in 100 hidden gem Mobius retailer incentive. Captain Marvel 17, second appearance of Kamala Khan in cameo on the last page. Far Sector number one, the McKelvey variant cover. Spider-Man Noir number one. This is the Javier Garon variant cover, retailer incentive. Moon Knight 15, signed by Addy Granov. This is the sketch convention edition for Trinity Comics. And look at that. And so it's got a certificate of authenticity here from the personal collection of Addy Granov, which is neat. Midnight Suns number one, signed by In Hyuk Lee, the Comic Mint convention edition, limited to a thousand copies. We Live number one, fourth printing with that awesome custom sketch by Chrissy Zulo. That's a original art right there. Amazing Spider-Man number 75, Scotty Young variant cover signed by Scotty Young. Secret Warriors 1, I absolutely love this Robbie Rodriguez cover uh, for the first appearance of the new Secret Warriors team. Another one of my favorite hip hop variants, Moon Knight number one, the Ricardo Lopez. This is a Schoolboy Q's Oxymoron album cover homage. Avengers Annual number 10, 92 White Newsstand, first appearance of Rogue. X Men Deadly Genesis number one. This is the variant edition by Joe Quesada. Comes with a COA from Dynamic Forces. Swordmaster number one, the Philip Tan 1 in 25 variant. Thor number two, the I believe this is either 1 in 25 or 1 in 50 for the Sam Nee variant cover in the first appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. We got a bunch of copies here of Ultimate Fallout 4, first appearance of Miles Morales. This one has a custom label, 96 white. This is the second print, Pakeli variant, 98. Second print, Mark Bagley cover uh, for the first appearance of Miles Morales. And first print, 9.8, first appearance of Miles Morales. Grim number one, Johnson variant. This is the one per store. One of my favorite covers for Grim. This is the one in 100, Jenny Friesen Virgin edition for Grim one. Amazing Spider-Man number four, the first uh, time Cindy Moon appears as Silk with those epic panels on the inside. Uh, another 9.6 Ultimate Fallout 4. Next wave number one. I can't remember the spec on this. Maybe Marcus can put it up on the screen if he can find it. Moon Knight number one, nine six white. Hulk number seven, nine eight white. This is the one. Let's see. There's a one in two hundred and a one in one hundred that look very similar by J. Scott Campbell. So I'll have to put up on the screen which one this is. Exiles number three, the one in 25, uh, Rodriguez variant cover for the first appearance of Peggy Carter, I believe. Black Panther World of Wakanda number five. This is the Jen Bartel, just a really rare Jen Bartel incentive variant. 
awesome jock cover here for Batman 126 gold foil edition. Captain America number four, the John Cassidy variant cover. Demon Days Rising Storm number one, Peach Momoko cover A. I believe this is also a high ratio retailer incentive. And this, I believe, is the one in 500 for Demon Days Mariko number one by Peach. Another high ratio incentive for Demon Days X-Men number one. Eternals number seven, the Momoko Virgin Edition. Absolutely love this cover by Peach. Fantastic Four 52 3.0 with white pages is a nice addition for the first appearance of the Black Panther. Invincible Iron Man 9, first full appearance of Riri Williams. How about another Something is Killing the Children number one first print cover A for the first appearance of Erica Slaughter. This is the direct edition of Batman Beyond number one, the first uh, comic book appearance of Terry McGinnis. Star Wars 26 with this awesome custom sketch here by Eric Gist. And it says, Sign Sketched and 6 of 20 by Eric M. Gist. Uh, it's his personal comp copy. All right, here is another comp copy for Star Wars 26. This is the second printing Virgin Edition with the custom sketch here. It says 12 of 20. So sometimes, oh, it looks like a little... A little piece of plastic in the case there, but sometimes artists get comp copies for work that they've done. It's not always the case, but sometimes they, they're given free copies of their books. Here's Avengers 56, signed by John Tyler Christopher and Elizabeth Olsen, which is a nice addition there. Gotta love these negative space variants by JTC. Oh, there's, there's one I recognize, the Miles Morales Spider-Man number one Bryce Comics Virgin Edition by Inhyuk Lee. House of Slaughter number five, 9.9, .9, mint condition, white pages, Scott's collectible Virgin Edition, double signed by Lieber Mayho. It's a Lieber Mayho cover, and uh, it's also signed by James Tynion. World Tree number one, this is the recalled edition because it was too dark for the first appearance of Fear and, and the whole cast of this series. This is the Zoo Orzu, I believe this is the one in 50. This is the one in 75. I, I might be wrong on those ratios. This is definitely the one in 100, cover F. Eight Billion Genies number one. This is the Bird City Comics edition. This is the book that went to the moon when it came out. Super Mario Bros. game cover homage. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three, 9.8. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number three from 1988 in a 9.8. Deadpool Black, White, and Blood number four, the Dan Pinocian variant cover for the first appearance of Sakura Samurai, I believe. America number one, this is the convention edition for the first solo series for America. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 33, this is the 1 in 25 Mahanini variant cover. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 52 from 1992, Mirage Studios, City at War Story 9.8. Young Avengers number one, Director's Cut and 9.4. And Batman 125, the jock variant cover for the first appearance of Failsafe Gold Foil. So these are the books that I'm not going to go through all of them in this video. These are the ones that are going to go directly to whatnot. The ones that we just went through are going to go directly to the website. So there's a link in the description for $15 towards your first purchase on whatnot. If you want to come, all of these slabs are going to start at $1. We'll have tons of giveaways and tons of fun. There's tons of signature series stuff, a lot of some custom sketches. Some really fun books in this lot. Star Wars, Ryan Stegman, a ton more Something is Killing the Children, and House of Slaughter. Look at that, Pat Gleason. Oh, this is a good one. The Rose Besh variant. Another Peach, signed by Peach. So tons of stuff, and I hope to see you over there on Whatnot. So there you have it, folks. Another really awesome collection with some really cool goodies. Thanks, as always, for sticking with me to the end of the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.